Hey now, East Coast Gull Wings, video number 58. I'm going to apologize for the way my camera is. My phone's being real goofy. Um, I think it's time for a new phone pretty soon. All right, well, what I am doing today is just finishing touches on the trunk interior, if you want to call it. Uh, I was going to do metal. Actually, I have a piece that I already fabricated up in metal. Um, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of the wood. It's quarter-inch plywood. The reason I'm going with it, it's it's lighter than the than the metal. And B, there's really no need for the metal because there's no. I have supports underneath. Um, so the only thing that's going back here is basically a spare tire anyway. Uh, it's not like you can not, not like you're going to put an engine block or something in back here. So the spare tire is pretty much going to be the only thing back here. Um, I did this piece here that you see. Let me point to it. Uh, with, with the compound curves and everything, I really didn't want to fabricate it out of cardboard or sticks and then, you know, bondo it and all that fun stuff. So what I did was I went to Walmart and got a like a 6x6 six six swatch of felt and basically glued the bottom all along the edge and then pull it up and then glued it to the to the top portion um, then I basically soaked it in resin let it cure for a day came back gave it a coat of three quarter ounce uh, chopped mat over it um, and I was going to use this for a mold but the thing I actually thought of at, while I was doing the, the smoothing out to make it ready for uh, epoxy primer was that I really need to make a mold on the opposite side uh, in the back side of it and I already did the body work on the front side of it and I'm like I'm not doing the fucking body work on the back side of it either uh, and it only it's, it's about a complete you know for me it was about two days fabrication for that piece uh, so I'm just gonna use this one and on the next car we will uh, we'll make the mold out of that one um, and probably going to use a, a rubber mat for the trunk. I got to see what kind of patterns I got. I would just like a regular straight line. I don't know what's available and probably put like a, a real thin carpeting on the side edges. I have some stuff here and in, in gray, but I would probably do black. Just, you know, put it on the sides. Um, I mean, it is just a trunk. And once again, with the tire in there, you're really not going not gonna to see much else but the tire. Uh, so next I'll be moving into... Well, I'm doing this basically. I'm trying to get everything done uh, on the inside so that when, it, when I do paint the car, I'm not leaning over it, you know, putting resin around the new fucking paint job, all that kind of stuff. I will be going inside here next. And by the way, interior, you know, it's coming apart. Um, everything has to be, you know, painted and taken care of. And where the seams are here, see there's my camera getting all goofy on me. I have to glue, finish gluing this, put some Bondo hair on there, smooth out the back. Um, I mean, just a little bit of time in here and just, you know, do a little treatment around the windows and stuff like that, clean everything up. Pretty much that's it, and then just work my way around in the interior. Not gonna actually do any of the uh, upholstery yet, because that can be done, you know, that's kind of a clean job for the most part. So, not worried about that getting all messed up with the outside of the car. So anyway, that's where we are. Uh, everyone uh, have a great week, and uh, ciao, Maine. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Later.